Hello everybody, this is your host, Yoshi, uh, doing another Wake and Bake video. It's Friday. It's a pretty nice day today. Had a good week. Um, working on uploading a couple more videos of Greedfall. Um, been uh, using this new software that... Um, I got introduced to by some gamers on Twitter uh, called GamePad and it's been pretty great. Um, it's a bit of a beast, it makes my, makes, uh, my computer lag a little bit, but the uh, uh, what you can do with it is really good. Um, I've been uh, needing something for it since I've been using a Dell laptop for a while and it doesn't have um, a movie maker on it. And I was using that for the longest while. It was uh, the best uh, free software uh, for like movie editing that I can uh, think of. Um, but the gamepad is um, it's more professional, a um, lot more in depth, and there's a lot more you can do, um, which I've been really enjoying. And the um, the speed at which uh, you can export uh, videos uh, is a whole lot faster than like Windows Movie Maker and this other one that I've been using on my Dell. Uh, so it's great because that's uh, one issue I've been having with like editing uh, videos and, uh, nowadays is the uh, speed at which uh, my computer can save the video. Uh, because if it takes two days or so to save one video, it's just not really worth it. And it's also just really annoying uh, waiting that long. Because then you basically can't use the laptop as uh, long as the movie is trying to save because it takes so much uh, power and stuff in order to convert the video and save it and stuff. It's just, it's a big hassle. So the new software is just uh, hopefully will help me uh, amp up my uh, video quality and uh, I just want to try to make some you know better looking videos more professional um, for my sake and the sake of the fans you know people want to watch some videos that look pretty nice better than the uh, shittier quality ones. hope everybody has a good weekend um, you know basically starts today if you're uh, at like a uh, well it basically starts today it's Friday you know TGIF <coughs> and who doesn't enjoy uh, knowing that the next day they get to sleep in or whatever it's always nice I, I mean unless you're um, Unless your weekend is technically like during the week or something, but you know, the the idea of knowing that you can sleep in and stuff is really nice. Oops. So I want to get kind of get back on a topic I was talking about in my last uh, wake and bake video about religion, but more so the use of cannabis and various uh, religions like the Scythian religion um, which is a uh, which is a, uh, a a civilization and religion that influenced uh, various other groups like the uh, uh, Hebrew tribe uh, the idea of Lilith comes from the Scythian uh, religion but also uh, the word for uh, cannabis comes from the Scythians. Uh, they were known for taking uh, cannabis steam baths where they would uh, throw uh, cannabis onto hot rocks and uh, allow it to vaporize while they're inside a tent, basically hot boxing.
they're basically hot boxing themselves with the uh, vaporized t uh, cannabinoids, which is quite interesting. I mean, they, they knew the various effects of the plant and uh, various things they can do to help release the compounds in it. Or at least had some. I mean, not the kind of ideas we have about it now, but they had some. They had basic understanding. <coughs> Um, the Greeks would use cannabis and wine, making a type of tincture, which, uh, according to claims, even when cut with 20 parts water, would still get you intoxicated. I mean, many religions were really big on the use of cannabis. Um, even the Hebrew religion, which uh, for a good part of its uh, lifetime has been against cannabis, <coughs> but its early life, uh, Hebrew, the Hebrew tribe did uh, uh, use uh, cannabis, and well, also the early Christians, the word uh, cannabosum is a, a, uh, a word that uh, referred to the cannabis plant. Uh, it was using the holy anointing oil that Jesus and Moses used. Um, I know the Romans and the Egyptians used it. Uh, the Egyptians would uh, uh, mix it with uh, two other plants and make a liquid. Though that that type of mixture um, was not um, unknown, um, yeah, like in the Zoroastrian religion, it was called the cup of fire, <coughs> and in the Zoroastrian religion, as well as the like Christian and early early Hebrew religion, uh, the substance was used to anoint those that would be kings or you know, like a messenger of God as the um, cannabis would uh, make you high and they assume that the uh, state that you uh, were to go into was communing with the gods which a lot of uh, uh, people believed back then that uh, the use of various substances would allow you to commune with the gods, which is why it was used. <coughs> but <coughs> on that note, <coughs> uh, people people knew those. Um, who had uh, control knew that uh, getting people intoxicated and then uh, would uh, make it easier to convince them that uh, said the divinity was true which is why the, it was often used inside temples and stuff as a form of incense uh, people would you know slowly uh, breathe that in get uh, high and then whatever they saw they uh, believed to be real and were more easily convinced that what they saw was real um, though they still had a limited uh, knowledge of you know the world around them so you know it's easier to be convinced of a divinity when you have no idea of what is actually what I mean, there, there, there were uh, segments of society that were more knowledge, but a lot of them did use that knowledge to manipulate those that had uh, less. <coughs> Which is one reason why. <coughs> <coughs> Which is one reason why uh, education 
is uh, um, uh, <coughs> that's why there's like paywalls and stuff for education if you only allow a certain segment of the population to be educated then it's easier to control those who aren't educated like during the uh, Middle Ages where the priest class would uh, keep uh, the peasants um, illiterate so that when they would be uh, read to uh, the Bible in Latin they wouldn't be able to read what the Bible says but since the person spoke it uh, they would just have to go on what their uh, their religious figure said and well that was that if they said it was true well then it's obviously true because they're the uh, spokesperson for God and and as you know God is never wrong he never lies So, cannabis and other uh, substances were, uh, in most part, used as another tool of control <coughs> for uh, society at the time. <coughs> Nowadays, it's used as a form of control, uh, not as like... <clears throat> mental manipulation but more so like financial and legal as the <clears throat> use of drugs uh, has been illegal for for a very long time uh, and uh, used as a way to incarcerate people that the government didn't like uh, like I've spoken before uh, during the 70s and stuff, uh, uh, they, uh, the government uh, made drugs illegal in the United States so that they could arrest uh, black people, uh, Mexican immigrants coming across the border. Uh, they were also arresting uh, anti-war protesters as well as hippies. Uh, hippies were also for peace and stuff, which uh, one against the uh, idea at, at the time that the government needed war, especially war in Vietnam. Uh, which, by the way, uh, uh, Trump uh, dodged the draft with a doctor's note. But um, the, the government uh, knew that these groups used cannabis. Uh, which was also uh, being sold by the pharmaceutical companies at the time, like Bayer or Buyers. They were selling it in a tincture. Um, uh, you could have, you could get uh, probably straight. You could get straight cannabis tinctures, but you could also get tinctures that was a mix of uh, cannabis and cocaine. <coughs> that was when <coughs> cocaine was also being sold as medicine <coughs> and this was probably also around the time when coca-cola was using cocaine in their product because before before all this uh, these various substances were used medicinally I mean they didn't really have the greatest knowledge of it at the time but they eventually uh, the government eventually realized uh, that a certain segment of the population did uh, use cannabis so they decided to wage a war on drugs so that these people can be arrested it was a way of uh, removing political opponents and it's not something that the government uh, the US government is um, scared to do in um. uh. the Hindu uh, religion uh, cannabis is widely accepted 
they have a religion called the Day of Holly or Holy, H-O-L-I, probably not pronouncing it right, but um, like during that time, uh, cannabis consumption and sale uh, rises about four times compared to uh, normal, and it's because it's, it's a day of cannabis where they use it to, uh, they smoke as much or consume as much as possible in order to um, uh, get as close as possible with the god Shiva, if I remember correctly. Uh, they they have like a cannabis drink called uh, Baeng, B H A N G. It's uh, it's using it's a mixture of cannabis and milk with some uh, s uh, various spices and stuff and nuts. Um, I um, I heard that uh, drinking enough of it um, makes you feel like you're drunk. They got Baeng balls, which is uh, keef mixed with a little bit of milk or water and some nuts and then rolled into a ball and then they also just smoke it. Uh, the Japanese uh, mythology also had a goddess or god of cannabis. Um, they had a similar uh, cannabis uh, liquid mixture with milk um, and one of the gods created a C out of, uh, with that, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've, uh, done research on it. I know, uh, the Egyptian, uh, mythology, uh, Bast, B-A-S-T, was, uh, a goddess of cannabis. You got some modern religions that, uh, are around uh, cannabis, uh, the Rastafarian group, which is a sect of Christianity, but they believe cannabis is a sacred herb. You got the Cantheist, um, which is just basically straight uh, worshiping cannabis. No other major uh, philosophies or religious beliefs. Not really tied to other. Uh, religious groups. You got um, various Christian, um, well, other Christian sects that um, are more around uh, cannabis. Can cannabis being a sacred herb. Uh, well, the the uh, some of these more modern ones that you can find started because of a a. a a bill that was supposed to protect uh, indigenous people and their use of various uh, plants that are considered illegal by uh, U.S. federal standards like peyote. And then other people were wanting to use that to get cannabis uh, to become uh, used uh, as a sacrament. It was easier in California than other states. Other states, uh, the judge said, uh, it was not in the interest of the government, basically, to allow it to be used as a sacrament. Because everybody else would be using it. I'm going to end this video here. Hope you guys had a good time. Peace.